Stoger presents America at Work. I'm Pat Vincenti. I'm a decoy carver from Churchville, Maryland. I've uh, been carving decoys now for almost 40 years. What is a decoy? Basically what it is is a spot on the water that catches the duck's attention and gets them to maybe circle back and take a second look. And uh, it could be a black jug uh, used to catch their attention and then again it could be 300 pieces of art. Here on the Susquehanna Flats and the Haverty Grace area we can document decoys back to the Civil War era. A lot of the guys worked the water and in the spring of the year they fished but in the winter they hunted and they provided ducks for the market and in order to get the ducks closer they created their own decoys. It was not a piece of artwork, not a piece of folk art, it was strictly a tool that they needed to help them finish the job that they were doing. This is how they lived, this is how they put their food on the table, this is how they paid their bills. There was only a handful of men that you could go to to get these decoys. Captain Ben Dye was one of the first documented carvers on the Upper Bay. And then you have Bob McGall, Sam Barnes, Madison Mitchell. This is the group of men that uh, gave us the tradition of carving here on the Upper Bay. And even contemporary carvers today, like myself, we grab bits and pieces of each style, put together what we like, and that's what creates our decoys. We're carving decoys today in the same tradition that they were made in, in Haverty Grace 125, 140 years ago. Good. In high school, I started waterfowling and I kind of thought I would like to make some decoys myself. I apprenticed under Madison Mitchell, uh, Jim Pierce, Paul Gibson, and in 1986, I quit my job and started making decoys full time. And the very next day, Madison Mitchell was walking down through my yard, and I could tell he was upset about something. I asked him, I said, what's wrong? He took his cigarette out of his mouth, and he said, they tell me you've quit your job. And I said, yes, that's right. Have you lost your mind? You're going to starve to death. I'm a young man. We're going to give it a try and see if it works. And the rest is history. But this is not a practical way to make a living today. You have to have a passion for this. And I realized this was more than just decoy carving. It's important always to preserve your history. If you don't make the effort to preserve it, it will be gone forever. This was a way of life for our forefathers, and this is what this country was based on. This country was based on hard work, and today we're not seeing them. When you build something with your hands, it creates a tremendous character in yourself. And when you look at something that was custom made by hand, you have a great appreciation for it. And it makes you want to do better in no matter what you're doing. I would love to see that hard American work ethic continue. I just hope that when people look at the decoys that I made, they can recognize that there was a lot of uh, sweat and blood in that thing. And I was always told that you make the next decoy better than you did the first.